Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. I really like this pose here. Kind of kitty, kind of looks like doing the splits. So I'm going two and a half times the speed and voicing over here. And just feeling out where all the parts need to be. Trusting my gut. Just blocking in the nice shape and not worrying about perfection. Really just worrying about gesture. Not worrying about it, but just focusing on capturing the gesture. We'll shape that muzzle there and help the mouth and nose appear. And then start putting some of the features in. Yeah, eyes way off on the the eyes there. I need that other that eye closer. Not paying close of en enough of attention, I guess. But it's fixed now. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing. Maybe there's a particular pose you want to learn. I'm always happy to get ideas from viewers. I like that smirk. Suggestions of everything. And those back paws are kind of hiding under the fluff. I like to use the tail as a way of drawing the eye back towards the focal point. You can change tails somewhat. And I like to use tabby markings as a way of of shaping the contour of the cat's face. Get that fluff in there. Just a suggestion of fluff. Certainly don't worry about drawing every hair or fur. And some suggestions of tabby stripes. It's easy to overdo it and that initial gesture really is where the expression is captured. So don't be don't be worrying about fixing every little thing because that's when you'll you'll ruin that beautiful impressionistic look. That initial drawing look. That's where the emotion is. Some whiskers. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.